Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, that way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Hey, this week we're going to go ahead and cover this sexy beast, the Lynx Distribution System. Well, let's go ahead and put all this together, right? When we're talking about a solar system, there's all these different parts. There's battery parts, there's going to be an inverter, solar, and then of course if it's in an RV, you have all these other 12 volt demands. Well, where does all of those wires go? And that's what this is, okay? Lynx distribution system. What we have in here is a Lynx system that gives us places to hook up, say the batteries on one side, and all of my 12 volt demands on the other. And in between the two, I have a shunt. But let's start off with the distributor. If I take off the cover, it's literally just two bus bars, one for the positive and one for the negative. And in between the two, it is also a fuse block where I can put in fuses. See, the NFPA states that every source of power needs to have some type of circuit protection. And fuses count as circuit protection. It's no different than, say, breakers uh, on the 120 volt side or breakers for your uh, solar panels coming down. So. Inside this, I've not only got a place to hook up multiple DC loads, but I also have a place to go ahead and fuse this uh, with our uh, fuses, okay? Distribution system, once you think of a hub or anything else, like when you had your Wi-Fi or anything else, you'd plug in multiple things to that hub in order to get your power, um, to get your Wi-Fi out to your different computers, laptops, or whatever. It's kind of what this is, but for electricity, okay? Now, on this side over here, we have same thing. If I take the cover off, bus bar all fused up for multiple DC supply. You see, we're going to separate the batteries from one side and then all everything else DC on the other simply because of what's in the middle. In the middle, this is the gold and this is what we call the shunt. Now the shunt helps to calculate how much total uh, capacity I have in my batteries. So it's reading the electricity flow this way and it's gonna discharge. It says, okay, you started off at 100%, now you're at 99% as the electrons go across. If I charge it, electrons go back this way, then it says, okay, now we're gaining capacity. This is called the shunt. So we isolate our battery side from our all of our other DC loads, but we have one little device where we can hook up all of our DC power and demand in one elegant solution called the Lynx distribution system. Lynx distributor, Lynx shunt. There's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to bigbeardbattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started. <laughs> That's right, the Lynx distribution system. Okay, now typically, uh, or let me just essentially, <laughs> I want to get started now. This is my lane right here. That's the white boy dance. Well, no, because we're going to sit there and have it all in there. Right? As long as the table's here, right? Hips can do whatever they want. Oh, cool. That is, that is circled. What did I say? Oval? Oval. Yeah. Oh. Bam! Right here.